In a busy workshop packed with tools and moving equipment, a powered cable reel suddenly spins to life with its tightening pull-in path aiming straight across the work area. Treat rotating reels as powerful pull-in points. Keep guards installed, lock out controls before adjusting material, and position yourself so every feed, reset, or alignment is done from a clearly protected and stable location. When a strap or loose material catches on the reel surface, friction forces it to wrap around the drum, increasing tension with each rotation and converting simple contact into a rapidly accelerating pull-in line. Without proper guarding, distance, or exclusion zones, anything close to the drum edge is exposed to that tightening draw-in force as the reel continues to rotate. Guard every rotating drum, manage feed points with intention, and stay well outside the reel's tightening pull-in zone. In a cramped foam shop, a massive press waits above the table, turning one casual lean over the work surface into a moment where the whole machine is still active. Treat an energized press as ready to move at any moment. Never reach into the table without lockout and guarding. A powered press uses hydraulic or mechanical force to drive its platen downward with rapid motion. Even when idle, internal controls can trigger a cycle. Without sensors or guarding, anything inside the open bay becomes positioned within the path of the press's full downward travel the moment it activates. Treat every press like a loaded stroke. Lock it out, block it out, and guard the bay before you ever lean or reach into its operating zone. At a roadside bus stop, a routine tire fill builds massive stored pressure into a moment where the entire wheel assembly can release that energy in an instant. Never ever stand in the direct blast zone of a heavy vehicle tire during inflation. Use cages, remote valves, and stand to the side. Heavy vehicle tires can store massive energy as pressure climbs. Weakness in the tire casing or rim can cause sudden structural failure. When that happens, compressed air releases instantly, sending rubber, metal, and debris outward in a rapid radial release that can affect anything positioned within that zone. Treat every bus wheel like a pressure vessel, inflate from a protected distance, use cages or remote controls, and always respect the hazard of stored pressure. On a crowded roadwork site, a massive steel drum compactor rumbles forward while a worker unknowingly moves straight along the travel path into its invisible blind zone. Treat the area in front of a roller's drum as a no-go zone. Its blind spot can completely hide anyone close, so only move the machine on clearly marked travel paths with trained spotters confirming that the space ahead is empty and stays that way. Compactors are built with large front drums and elevated operator stations, which create a dead zone directly in front of the machine where nearby workers disappear from view. As the roller moves, the heavy drum applies constant forward and downward force, and on soft or fresh surfaces, its stopping distance increases. Control the blind zone before touching the controls. No roller movement until spotters confirm the path is clear and remains clear from drum to distance. On a crowded ship deck with water in motion all around, one unsecured ladder between hull and dock turns a simple climb into a swinging, sliding hazard zone. Never, ever use a ladder between floating or shifting structures without locking both ends in place. Secure the top, stabilize the base, and control the access point so movement of the vessel cannot turn the ladder into a moving hazard. A ladder resting loosely between a ship and another surface relies only on friction. When weight is applied, the top can slide down while the base kicks outward and vessel movement adds sideways and vertical forces. These combined forces quickly remove stability, turning the ladder into a shifting object that can move or fall without warning. Treat every between structure ladder as temporary and unstable. Tie off both ends, control access, and stop use whenever movement begins. Inside a small cafe kitchen, a sealed fryer under pressure turns a simple prep task into a moment where the whole unit can suddenly erupt with force. Never ever work beside a pressurized fryer without cooling, depressurization, and locked out controls. Pressurized fryers trap steam and oil beneath sealed lids. If internal pressure rises and the lid is not fully secured or cooled, a sudden release forces vapor and components outward. In tight spaces, this shock displaces equipment and drives hazardous energy across the work zone. 
Treat every pressurized fryer like a compact pressure vessel. Cool it down, depressurize fully, lock out controls, and keep clear until stable. On a busy fueling bay, a worker lights a cigarette near a tanker, and a tiny spark turns trapped vapors into an unstable ignition zone. Treat every tanker area as an extreme ignition-sensitive zone. Fuel vapors linger, spread, and concentrate, so eliminate all sparks, flames, smoking, and heat sources anywhere near vapor pockets. Fuel vapors are heavier than air and settle into low spaces around tankers, forming invisible high-concentration pockets. When even a small spark reaches that vapor air mix, ignition occurs instantly and can travel rapidly along the vapor path. Control every ignition source. If vapors may be present, treat the entire bay as a high-risk flame-free zone. In a busy yard, a loose truck tire breaks free and turns a nearby workspace into a fast-moving path of danger as it accelerates across the work zone. Always secure wheels and never, ever allow unrestrained tires to roll freely in active yards because even slight movement can quickly become a dangerous runaway situation. A rolling tire builds momentum from mass and rotation, allowing it to travel far before losing energy. Once moving, it follows a straight path until friction or impact intervenes, releasing force based on speed and weight. Treat every loose tire as a runaway hazard. Chalk it, restrain it, and secure all wheels before servicing vehicles. In a crowded brewery wash bay with slick floors and stainless tanks, one loose hose connection turns a quiet cleanup into an uncontrolled high-pressure spray zone. Treat every high-pressure hose system as a powerful energy line. Depressurize before disconnecting, secure fittings and clamps, and keep people and equipment out of any discharge path. Pressurized hoses store energy along their entire length. If a fitting fails, pressure releases instantly, causing the hose to whip unpredictably and drive powerful fluid jets. Wet floors further reduce control and stability, secure every connection, bleed pressure before contact, and remain outside the hose's potential discharge path. Inside a crowded workshop aisle, a forklift's tall sheet load suddenly shifts and turns into a collapsing wall of panels. Never, ever stand near tall, unrestrained sheet loads. They can tip or collapse without warning. Tall sheet stacks have high centers of gravity. When tilted or unsupported, gravity pulls them forward into a rapid toppling motion. Once sliding begins, momentum carries the panels into a cascading collapse. Treat every upright sheet stack like a freestanding wall. Strap it, support it, and maintain a clear exclusion zone where it could fall. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.